Well, good morning, American Lutheran Church, and welcome to worship on this great morning. Uh, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Pastor Kristen, and I am the intern pastor at American Lutheran Church. Starting off with a few announcements for this morning. Um, the council voted this past week and we are super excited to announce that we are for sure now having a drive-in worship on Sunday, July 12th. That will be at 10 a.m. So mark your calendars for that. Um, and just this is just a few weeks away. So within the next week or so, look for some guidelines that are going to be coming out. We are diligently working on those to make sure that everyone can stay as safe as possible and so that we can have as great a worship as possible. So make sure that you look over those before this drive in worship. Um, another reminder is to please continue sending in your offering. Uh, we have a handful of people that have been really steadily giving and we just wanted to send a quick shout out to all of you. Thank you so much for your faithful giving. Um, there are a couple options that uh, and ways that you can give. One is that you can continue sending in your checks or offering to Karen Sputa at her home. Um, and another way is through Tithely, which is our new online giving. So if you look, if you're on YouTube and you look in the um, description of the video down below, you will see the link there. It's also in the email and on our Facebook page. We will also have a safe contact free way for you to give on our drive-in worship day. So make sure to bring your offering to that as well. Another announcement, uh, we want to wish uh, all fathers out there a happy Father's Day um, and to all fathers who act as fathering figures to other people. Um, we hope you have an amazing day celebrating with your families. We also acknowledge and pray for all of those who are still yearning to become fathers. Peace be with you today. We are so ready to be having our second Praise and in Pajamas worship hymn sing today. Um, so make sure that if you're wearing your pajamas and worshiping with coffee in hand, snap a picture um, of yourselves watching worship and post it online, social media with the hashtag Praise and in Pajamas and tag American Lutheran Church if you can. Um, and last but not least, uh, we just wanted to give a huge thank you to Andy Gisgand, who has just been faithfully putting together our worship videos week after week. So thank you, and you are so appreciated. Now, would you please join me in our prayer of the day? Teach us, good Lord God, to serve you as you deserve, to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labor and not to ask for reward, except that of knowing that we do your will through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Please join us in singing In the Garden. I come to the garden alone while the dew
A reading from the book of Psalms, the 25th chapter. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all day long. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. 23rd Psalm
A reading from Ephesians, the fourth chapter. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing one another in love, making every effort to maintain the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great in your faithfulness, the Lord is my portion, my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. Jesus loves me. O Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name, for you have done wonderful things, plans formed of old, faithful and sure. For you have made the city a heap, the fortified city a ruin. The castle of aliens is a city no more. It will never be rebuilt. Therefore, strong peoples will glorify you. Cities of ruthless nations will fear you. For you have been a refuge to the poor, a refuge to the needy in their distress, a shelter from the rainstorm, and a shade from the heat. When the blast of the ruthless was like a winter rainstorm, the noise of aliens like heat in a dry place, you subdued the heat with the shade of clouds. The song of the ruthless was stilled. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make all make for all peoples a rich a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wines, of rich food filled with marrow, of well-aged wines strained clear. And he will destroy on this mountain the shroud that is cast over all peoples, the sheet that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever. Then the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces and the disgrace of his people he will take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken. Please join us in singing Sanctuary. Give us this day our daily bread. 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but into temptation, and deliver us from evil. Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now, people of God, may you receive this blessing. Neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all of creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. God the Creator, Jesus the Christ, and the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, bless you and keep you in eternal love. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now may you share the peace of Christ with one another. Peace be with you always. Amen.